Today on Slow Mo, we're going to be filming one of the most destructive forces on the planet. The fire tornado. So fire tornadoes are in fact a real thing and they happen in nature on an epic scale. So today what we're going to be doing is a bit of a taste today. We're going to build a small scale experiment, shoot that in high speed, see how that goes in preparation for our mega fire tornado, which is going to be coming up soon. Yeah, definitely subscribe so you don't miss that one. Who knows, it might get a bit could go out of hand. Horribly wrong, it could go horribly <laughs> yeah. right. It's going to be awesome either way. I'm yeah. really excited. So option number one then is the sort of Lazy Susan Farwell. So we've got our wire mesh here which is basically going to act as a bit of a barrier to any air on the outside. And then you've got your Lazy Susan or spinning cheese board type thing on the bottom. So you put your fire in the middle, that's the idea, spin it, and then as the air is coming through, it's also getting spun by that mesh, so it sort of creates a vortex, and the heat of the fire chucks it up. And then it goes... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We have ignition. We have funky oh, it looks edge. nice. Does it? Cool. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's what we want. Oh, that one might be worth oh, twiggering. Yeah. Bad boy on the go. Yeah. So the thermal camera is kind of jumping up and down with, I guess, a lot of fluctuation in temperature when it goes up and down. But we seem to be getting anywhere between 350 and 450 at a maximum. They're normally sort of about seven times hotter, these big fire wells, than a normal fire. It's pretty hot. <laughs> Whereas you are about 37 degrees maximum. <laughs> That looks pretty cool. We've made our first baby fire tornado. Yay! <laughs> Proud dads. <laughs> it's just a shame the mesh is slightly in the way. There is another option. We can get a sort of a circle of fans pointing inwards, so slightly sort of tangentially to the centre. Yeah. Then you create these vortices without anything being in the way. So a, ring, a ring of fans. A ring of fans for a ring of fire. So this is our next setup. Uh, we've got some lighter fluid inside a can, so fingers crossed. I think we should be maybe off to an angle a bit more. That's a bit mad. What's your feel inside? Uh, yeah, we're seeing the occasional little vortex, but it's just kind of occasionally licking up a bit. I think it needs to be more scientific, like we need to have them all kind of at equal intervals at the exact angle, the same angle to one another. There's obviously an incredibly sweet spot for it. Yeah. We're, we're yet to find that sweet spot. It is hard, but I knew it was going to be hard. Everyone who's tried this before has said it's going to be very hard. Um, so, on your advice, we've gone more science here. Yeah, let's bring the maths in a little bit. Yeah, so all these white marks should be the same distance from this white mark in the middle. Right. These are all at 45 degrees to each other. Good, good. So, let's give it a whirl. Fire them up. Yeah, that's looking better. Yeah. Oh, it's the power of science. That must be three or four feet. It looks pretty epic on high speed, but whoa, not, uh, not too much like a tornado. But you can still see that it's, it's kind of rotating a bit. So yeah. I don't think we're far off. Let's try another one. Let's move the fans back a bit, maybe. Come on. Ooh. Ooh. Totally triggered that one. We got a mini fire tornado. I'm pretty happy the concept works. That was probably five different variations. Different fuel, Whoa. different fuel container, different orientation of fans, different number of fans. But I think that looked pretty cool. 
What do you reckon, Sai? Yeah, it looks really good. Really, yeah? really good, yeah. Whoa. So it's a bit spread out there, but it definitely, uh, in a second, you see it really takes shape. And it's tornado y. It's definitely tornado. It's so hard. Because um, I didn't move the fans at all there. I thought I'd just let it yeah. do its own thing. Yeah, it does seem to have a bit of a, a kind of acclimatization period, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Right? Well, I guess it's generating its own winds by being so hot, and the hotter it gets, the more it's yeah, making that's air true. move. Yeah. So yeah. It's a nightmare. Yeah, I didn't think of that. But looking at those fans, they're pretty black and charred. <laughs> I think if yeah. we're going bigger fire, we need to go bigger fans. Yeah. That looks awesome though. That's a very promising start. But remember, if you want to see the big daddy, please do subscribe. So click on the tornado and we'll see you next time on Slow Mo. Fire in the hole! <laughs> hey!